Uh, Jim, I guess first of all, bring us up to date on uh, everything that happened since yesterday, just after 9 o'clock. Uh, we, well, we know it's about 8.15 in the morning that Aaron Alexis somehow entered the Navy Yard facility. He had a pass, uh, not necessarily security clearance, but he had a security pass that allowed him to enter the base as a subcontractor, as a low computer technician. Now, once on base, he confronted a one of the base police officers, shot him, and grabbed his service revolver. But the big question being asked today is how did Alexis uh, get on that base with at least one weapon, perhaps two? Now, it could have easily been concealed in some kind of duffel bag, and once they go through that gate, they have pretty much open access to the rest of the base. Uh, once he overpowered the security guard, he went up to the fourth floor of the Navy Sea Systems Command and opened fire on a breakfast crowd below, ultimately killing 12 before he himself was shot and killed in a shootout with police. Uh, now, uh, one of the big questions, too, being faced here is and, and we've heard you ask it many times this morning, Joe, is, is how could he have gotten a security clearance if he had been discharged from the Navy? We're still trying to figure that out. There's no indication that he was dishonorably discharged, but it was apparently as a result of several uh, instances of misconduct, including that shooting incident in Fort Worth.